guys. Well, I finished up the y-axis datums, and now I'm starting to work on the z and the x. And something I wanted to show you. You know, a lot of times you guys watch these videos and you say, Man, Sam, that's Sam. He sure does got it figured out. Well, check this out. So I put all this time and effort in making my jig here and not realizing that my X and Z datums are 27 and a half inches long or about 700 millimeters. Well, you see that? I'm hitting the enclosure here so I can't get my first setup. I can't line it up with my mark here. So what I've had to do is bore one hole, one location, the first location so that I can at least get it in my vise here and then I'll be able to bore my fur, uh, two holes here. So I have to actually skip the first one but then when I get to the end I'll just flip it around on one of these holes here and I'll be able to go back and get this last location so I was able to resolve the issue however it didn't go quite the way I planned just to let you guys know hey I'm human things happen in my shop just like they happen in your shop you have to just kind of adapt to changing situations so now that I've figured out how to resolve the issue I'm gonna go ahead and do the X and the Z datums well, I'm out in the shop today and I'm finishing up my datums for the linear rail conversion. I thought it'd be a good opportunity to talk a little bit about shop safety. As I was boring some 90 holes and doing the countersinks in these datums, I realized there are all these little metal shards, splinters if you will, very fine, and they're all sticking in my gloves. And I just wanted to kind of emphasize, after seeing that, I wanted to kind of emphasize the importance of wearing, always wearing safety glasses. Uh, I always wear these. These are Z87 rated. And these happen to have readers on the bottom. You can pick these up from uh, off the internet. Uh, I can't see up close, so these have readers. Makes it really nice for doing machine work. Always wear your safety glasses and be very cautious when using compressed air to blow off your parts, especially when you've got all these little fine splinters. Uh, you don't know where these things are going to go. Often you see all these videos on YouTube, guys doing grinding, they're not wearing safety glasses, and you get something in your eye and lose an eye, you're not going to be doing very much machining after that, so. Just wanted to kind of re-emphasize the importance of shop safety. Your machines are under computer control. We want to be cautious when you're running new G-code until you get it all tested. And you also want to be careful when you're wearing these little gloves, these rubber gloves you got these very fine metal particles they tend to stick into your glove and then you start rubbing and you push them into your skin so just remember guys when you're out in the shop doing any kind of work always wear safety glasses always be conscious and mindful of safety accidents can happen they do happen all the time and the more safety conscious you are the less likely it's going to happen to you. Thanks for watching the videos, guys. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment. Thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up if you like the video. And most importantly, be safe.